All right, today I'm going to show how to set up a APRS Digi Peter controller, and it is called the PLX Digi. I learned about this from some fellow hams around the my area, and I wanted to share how to uh, program this unit. The unit is right here. It uh, fits in the palm of your hand and you just download the software here to configure your settings that you want for the unit it just plugs into your desktop or laptop by a mini USB and you set up all your information that you want hit right and it goes saves it right into the unit and then the other end here with the serial port it connects to either your own custom made cables or the seller here on the site has custom made cables available for purchase for several different radios I am purchased a cable for my Kenwood TM261 I think it was about eight dollars here and uh, it's a really good unit cheap has been very reliable I've used it about three months now from the timing of this video without any hiccups or anything where for the digi Peter you have your call sign latitude longitude since I already have mine set up I will read from file call sign latitude longitude or where the digipeter is going to be my other information I never messed with any of this uh, digipeter on yes duplicate check-ins path filter rules um, path filter areas from the digipeter call sign filters I have it empty beacons this is what the uh, digipeter well beacon I have it set five minutes and have the latitude longitude and small message the weather station I don't have uh, this is the time this is also for the weather station which is disabled uh, this is a serial port to talk to the radio the others are left empty once you have everything set up here you just write config to the device, the website of the seller, the serial cable that runs to the mic jack as well as the speaker jack. Also you have your 12 volt and the 12 volt for the radio and it is a Kenwood 261 2 meter radio. Okay so here we see the radio and the PLC operating green light is receiving packet and there it just re transmitted the packet once it received it the red flashing light just shows that it's getting the 12 volt power required thanks for watching